Oh man, where is he gone? Snortimer! Snortimer! He's gone, I can't find him! Oh man, where is he run off to this time? <gasps> Snortimer! What are you doing there? Oh, grab my hand, Snortimer! Grab my hand! Oh, Snortimer! No! Okay, looks like it's recording. Um, so it turns out that wasn't Snortimer. Um, this pig right here is Snortimer. Uh, and he was exactly where I thought he was going to be. I just wasn't looking hard enough. So hello, Snortimer. Say ho hello to everyone else. There he goes. Um, so today, hello. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to do some, some cool stuff. Um, first of all, actually, Snortimer, I'm going to, I'm going to let you go. Go, go run around. Don't fall in any lava pits. I don't know who that pig was, but hopefully you're smarter than he was. Um, so today there's a couple of things I want to do. Some cool projects that I have in store. Hello, cows. Um, and we're going to have lots of fun with them. Uh, first I want to talk about just, uh, mention some stuff regarding my videos. I want to send a super special thank you to about like the 20 or so people who have recently subscribed. Um, every single subscription and every single email I get from YouTube saying so-and-so has subscribed to you is so rewarding. Um, it's interesting to see, you know, all these professional YouTubers uh, talking about how much their subscribers mean to them. Uh, and you might think to yourself, well, heck, they're just subscribers. You know, how meaningful could they be? But man, it isn't until you get some yourself that you really realize just how uh, just how much it means. So thank you. Super special thank you to everyone. Um, I want to give a shout out to a buddy of mine who was really nice. Uh, and he was nice enough to promote my video on Reddit and got me uh, a fair amount of subs, which I'm really, I'm really happy that... But he's been sharing my videos. So, big shout out to Admiral Redstone. Uh, this guy is awesome. If you haven't checked out his channel, go over there and, and show him some love. Because he makes great videos. And he's a super nice guy. Both of which are awesome qualities. So, definitely go check him out. Hello, zombie. Zombly. I said that weird, didn't I? I was going to say zomble. Uh, and then I decided to change it to zombie. So, it kind of warped. Warped my my speech. Another thing that someone mentioned in my videos is that, and I noticed this myself when I edit it back, uh, I say, uh, I tend to say um, um a lot, and uh, and uh, and making noises between words. So, I noticed this especially in my last video while I was editing it. Uh, it just got super annoying for me. And I'm, and I'm sure it's probably a little bit annoying for the people watching. So I'm going to try not to do it as much. And you know, it's interesting, whenever you try to stifle the ums that come out, you don't really realize how, mu how much you do it until you try to stop doing it. Um, see, I, ju I just did it there. So, it'll be a challenge to kick the habit, but I think it'll be fun. A fun challenge. I like fun challenges. It's, it's interesting. I think the reason why we say words like um and uh... I think, what do they call those? Like, buzzwords, I think? They call them buzzwords? I think that's the term for them? I don't know. But, uh, the reason we, I think the reason we say them is because there's some subconscious fear that we might be interrupted. And so we want to, we want to let the audience know we're not done saying what we have to say, right? If I say something like, I have to go to the, uh, bathroom, right? It's sort of letting you know my sentence isn't done with the word the. I have another, I have more to say. But in a video like this, where there's no one to interrupt me, it's really unnecessary to put the ums in there. I think it also preserves a certain, a certain lilt of our English language and the speech patterns that we make. So, I think that's another use for it. But, I'm going to try not to do it. So today, like I said, we're going to do a very special project that I dreamed up last night as I was playing. I know 
in our last video we talked about maybe making a sheep farm or focusing on our blue room a little bit more but I think I think we can do something cooler than that so what I want to do and I can just get down from here uh, where's the ladder where's the ladder it's over here what I want to do today is make a nice wet bar for the house so if you don't know what a wet bar is you can you can feel free to Google it, but what it is, it's sort of like this small bar area with like a, a sink and stuff that people use for for entertaining guests at their homes. I have one in my in my house here. I never use it because I just just don't use it. It's really mainly like a shelf for for storing things, but it looks really cool so we're gonna go ahead and make one and I thought it would be cool to make one down here and sort of next to the storage room so we have this this cool little gateway here right so I thought it would be cool if maybe we could use some of these places as gateways so looking at my underground map here there aren't really any caves nearby if we go if we go straight so I think we're gonna go ahead and dig this out and It'll be awesome. So where's my axe? And my axe. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and dig this out. Whoa. Torch gone. Let me just grab some more here. Plonk. So we're going to dig this out. Looks like my axe is about breaking. That's okay. I'll get a new one. For, for things like axes and shovels, I tend to use iron tools because... They're a bit cheaper, uh, and it doesn't really make much of a difference, I find, to switching switching to diamond. Uh, and I tend to really use diamond for, for swords, because swords it will make a difference, and picks, because picks it will make a difference as well. So, in this case, I'm, actu I'm actually going to use this iron pick. The reason being that I'm not digging out any ores, I'm just digging out basically rock. So... I don't want to waste my good pick on just stone, right? So what I want to do... Ooh, there's a cave nearby. Except there's not really a cave nearby because I can see all the caves. Well, actually, that's not true. These are actually all just the lit up caves. So there could be a cave nearby. That will be cool. I'd have to light it up. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to dig down. And it's going to end up being like this really cozy lounge area. At least that's what I want it to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig down about eight, eight blocks. Let's see. Let's give it a shot here. Right? So, we're just digging down. And I came up with another idea that we could do. Something we could do. A stair, a stair. And we're here. Okay. Another idea that we could do for our episodes, which I think is, would be a cool idea. And... Remember how last episode we put a tile in the bathroom, in the, in the master bathroom? Remember that at the very end? And I had a thing that said, satisfaction. So stare, stare, plank, plank, plank. Yep. Um, well, well, I think it would be cool if we ended every episode by putting another tile down. And I wouldn't have to show you what I go through to get the emeralds and all that. That we could skip for the most part. But I think it would be cool to uh, to do that. It's just sort of like, it's the way I see it, it's sort of like putting a book on the shelf in a way. You know what I mean by that? Let's see, hold on a second. So stare, stare, stare. And then I think down another one. Put that there for now. It's sort of like when you read a book... If you've ever read a book, um, some of you guys might not be big readers. Some of you might read a book a day, you know. Um, I fall sort of in the middle. So, but, uh, yeah, when you read a book, let's see, st so it's going to be platform, stare, 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 platform. When you read a book, you get this feeling of satisfaction at the end, which you sort of, you finish the last page, you know what I mean? You finish the last page, and you just sit there holding it. And you ha and you just you just sit there, thinking about the adventure you just went on, and just just remembering all the all the good times in that book. So, 
so that's sort of what this is going to be, right? Because you, you, you finish the book, you sit there and remember it, and you put it on the shelf, and you look up there and you say, I did that. I read that book. And it's awesome. I mean, it could be a book, it could be a movie, it could be whatever. You know, it's just some sort of um, idea of finality, closure to an episode that I think would be really awesome. And it'll also encourage us to finish finish that floor as quickly as possible, which I think is a good idea. So one, two, three. I want to go down eight blocks from where we were. So if you imagine this is 57, then I want to see over here in my map over here, it's going to say 57. Um, then we want to go down to 49. So six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and then down another one. So just dig that out and I can grab my shovel. This is a really good shovel. I'm not going to use it. I think what happened was I just for the hell of it, put a level 30 enchant on a, uh, on a, on an iron shovel. And I got like a really good shovel by accident. Look at that thing. That's gorgeous. So I'm now afraid to use it, but on the bright side, it's really, really cheap to repair. So that's good. So this is 49. So we need stairs here. Cool, cool. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put stairs in this place and I will show you how it looks when we're done. Okay. So here we are and I've put some stairs in and as you can see, we've got the whole brick and jungle wood thing going on just as we do over here. So I want to keep that theme constant throughout this whole build. Whoa. Yeah, there must be a cave around here because it keeps giving me those cave noises whenever I come here. But that's okay. So uh, I'm all the way down here and I think I think we're gonna make our room. This is where our room is gonna be. And I think we're gonna go nine this way and then 12 across. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? Even numbers? Don't do that. But hear me out here. Hear me out. Uh, I want it to be really cozy. And for it to be cozy, I'm sort of cutting off an extra block going lengthwise. And so I think it'll come out good, right? That's, the, that's my reasoning behind it is just I want it to be real cozy. So we're going to go, we're going to start heading this way. And we're going to go nine blocks. So torchin. Torchin is the plural of torch. I don't care what anyone says. So one, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. <laughs> Lost count. Five, five, yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Put a torch down there and we can dig this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait a minute, no, just twelve. Just go to twelve. Um, put wood. Well, I'll put dirt. Where's dirt? Five. Dirt. That should do it. That should do it, folks. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I miscounted like crazy. Miscounted like nuts. Put that there for now. We'll probably make the walls out of something else, right? But for now, we'll just put that stuff there. Just double check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's that's twelve. So then we're gonna head this way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. And then we're just gonna connect it. So you can sort of see in my map the size of our room. So I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be good. I think you guys are gonna like what I have planned.
And we're back. And you can see uh, that I've dug out most of the walls here and laid some floor down. Some of this floor we're going to end up ripping up because they're gonna, there's going to be other stuff on the floor. But for now, it's just a good placeholder to have. So, I think we can, we can, uh, we can, our next step is going to be to put the walls in and also figure out where the, where the bar is going to be. We're going to set the bar. Set it high. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to set the bar around here. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm thinking of doing something like this, where we got this going on. Now, here's the thing. Um, this is, I don't know why I put floor down here. This is actually going to be wall, so this, this floor doesn't have to be here. Here's the thing. I want to conserve as much material as possible. So you'll see me ripping up... Oops, axe broke. Good thing I have a spare. You'll see me ripping up a lot of floor that's going to be underneath other things. And that's just to save my materials here. So we're just going to plonk some, f some wall down here. Plonk, plonk, plonk. And what the problem with this room now, right, is that it's just this big square. And squares are cool, but uh, we're going to try to do something a little cooler than a square. I'm just going to give it a hint of non squareness. Just a hint. Just a hint. So, how are we going to do that? Let's see. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we. We pull one of these babies. I'm thinking we pull one of these babies. So, what I'm doing is basically, what do you call that? Chamfer? Chamfering off the side of the room? I'm chamfering off the side of the room. And that's going to make it just a little bit more cozy, a little bit more organic, I'd say. So this is the wall now, right? All this, and this is no wall. This is just, you can fill this in. So nothing spawns in there. This is all wall. And then over here, get rid of that. We can chamfer it in again over here. Just like this and like that. Put that there. So see how we're, we're basically making the room a lot more cozy. We really want it to be like a like a lounge kind of deal. You know what I mean? Like a lounge, like a lounge. Like you, you chill out and you, you lounge around. So I think we're gonna have the bar. Well, let me let me make this this corner first here. Uh, yeah, awesome. So plonk 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 plonk, and all this. We're going with a dark wood border. A dark wood trim around the side. Look at that. And then I think there too. And then here, and then here, and then here. No. No. No, no, no. That's that's wrong. That's completely wrong. Oops, I pushed the button. My uh my thing has macros installed from the macros and keybinds mod. That thing is Amazing. We're out of wood, folks. Let me get some more wood. The good thing about building the room here is that our storage room is like two steps away. So that's good. Let's see. We need oak wood for this. And we have plenty. We have plenty of wood. Whoops. Put that back. Just grab a stack. That should be enough for now. And then I want to do something cool with the staircase a little later. This will be a multi-episode project here, guys. This will be a, uh, a larger project. But I think in the end, you guys are going to like it. So I'm going to put the stuff here, put the wood here on the walls. And get rid of this, this block. This block here. And just do one of that. Awesome. So we have basically our walls. This part I want to save for the bar. And what we're going to do is we're probably going to make the bar out of something cool like obsidian. For now, I'm going to use cobblestone just to just to mark it off, just so that I know, um, like where I want to place things, and so it's it doesn't end up being that I place it in the wrong spot and then it takes forever to mine. So that's okay. So let's see. I think the outside of the bar is going to be wood. 
yeah and then uh, let's see how's this gonna work if I have seats here imagine we have bar bar stools here right so in like a five by three pattern here right and the bar would sit just here so that's that makes sense that makes sense let's actually make this the bar stools first let's see how that's gonna work so the way that it works with block heights and things um, in order to make something look proportioned you kind of have to do little tricks here and there with the with the way they're placed so um, I'll show you what I mean by that in a second uh, what do we got here stone bricks this is what I want I want the mossy stone the mossy stone one two three four five six and uh, some dark wood slabs dark wood slabs we have a couple one two that should be enough for now and then we need a couple of trap doors we're gonna end up probably using quite a bit of trap doors quite a lot of trap doors as a matter of fact in our build here um, hopefully it won't be too trap door heavy trap doors can get kind of kind of samey after a while right uh, we need something for the floor there which I did not remember to bring let's see maybe some sort of uh, some sort of plank again slab uh, we can go with regular oak slabs we have too much we have too much stuff in our inventory we can we can put it away here uh, cobble goes up gravel goes in and oops and dirt you can go up there too awesome we can keep this cobble for now just uh, just so we can have something to place Mm, that's so good. Okay, so oh, look at that. It ate twice. That's, that's so annoying. That's okay. Uh, we need these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's the right. I think that's the right amount. Uh, no, no, no. We need. Well, actually, yeah, we need a couple of dark ones. A couple of dark ones. So check this out. This is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. Check it out. First, step one, cut a hole in the box. Just kidding. Step one, we place these, these planks down, right? And we leave these two spaces open for where the stools are going to be. Then we can cut these out. Um, you can grab the cobblestone if we have to awesome and then uh, what else we're gonna place our slabs the cool thing about slabs is that um, and actually I could have made this entire I sh what I should have done is made this entire floor out of slabs because it saves on material you, you save about half the material but I'll probably end up doing that with the ceiling so I'm just gonna put that there put that there and then uh, we didn't make our we didn't make our 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 stone walls so we'll do that now I'll just put a crafting table down right here and we can make our stone walls you'll see where I'm going with this in a second you'll see where I'm going with this and you'll be like oh right so boom boom yeah and then trapdoor bam bam what bar stool look at that isn't that so sick that's the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen. So, this is great. So, the bar is going to go here. So, it's going to go here. Now, this will be, I'll warn you guys, it will be slightly lopsided. But I think that the, as the asymmetry is going to end up working out in the end. Um, I think it'll work out. So, let's see. We got this. We got that. We got this. And then... We need another piece of wood over here. And awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check how we're doing for time. And we'll be right back. And welcome back, folks. And so I've, I've checked the time. We have about five minutes left. So we're going to try to get as much work done as we can in that time. But we probably won't finish today. 
So I'm going to just place some obsidian down that I've harvested using my wonderful obsidian generator. And it's going to look a little bit lopsided at first, but I think it's going to I think you're going to really like it in the end. So let's give it a shot. Uh, like this. Um, like that. I just want to be very careful that I'm placing it right. And then a piece of cobble down here. And that. That's awesome. Okay, so then we can make this floor come out here. And I have something special for the inside of this. Do I have enough? Do I have enough? One, two, yeah, I have enough. Look at that. Mm. Look at that bar. That's turning out nice. So then what I want to do is this. I want to do one of these babies. Put our trap doors on. Get out of here, torch. Go home, torch. You're drunk. Bam. Okay. So that looks like a bar. We're starting to look like a bar over her. Um, it needs a couple of things. It needs some drinks, first of all. Right? Boom. Boom. Mm-hmm. That's looking good. Just to light it up. Um, and then it needs a little gate here. So normally what I would do is put something like this so it swings down. But like I said, we don't want it to become too trapdoor heavy. So instead, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a fence gate. So we can actually, we can actually do that right here. And I'm going to use these wood, these woods, these pieces of wood because I have more of them. Um, so just like this. Am I doing this right? Yeah, good. And then we're going to put it here. Now this presents a problem and I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. So to show you the problem, um, I'm going to grab some redstone stuff. So basically what we want to do is we want to open that gate using a, a pressure plate, a stone pressure plate, but we don't want, we don't want the, the trap doors to move. And I'll show you why, why that's a problem, right? If I, if I put a thing here, that happens. This opens, but that happens, right? So the solution is actually pretty simple. What we do is we just grab those blocks out of there, these blocks, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the stuff because it's valuable. Stingy Miggy. Uh, and what we're going to do is put torches down there. So what that's going to do is, let's see, jungle wood. It's going to power these blocks. So these are always powered. And now we don't have that problem anymore, right? Because it's powering the trapdoor to keep it in like its open position. And now we have an auto-closing thing. So that's really cool. Isn't that cool? That's so awesome. Next, to finish the episode here, um, we're going to go ahead and make a roof around this. So, just a nice little, like, hood. In the hood, yo. Just like that. Like this. Like that. Like this. You know, you can tell what I'm doing. I'm just making a nice... It's like an awning, kind of. Mm-hmm. Looking good. And then... Grab some of these babies. Put them there. We're probably going to end up... Oh, man, there's must... I'm telling you, there's a cave nearby somewhere. There's got to be. I keep getting those damn cave noises, and I hate it. Um, we're going to end up putting lights and something special back here. So, lights are going to go up here. So, we're going to have to end up putting redstone way up in the roof here. But that's okay. It'll be fun. Oh, psh. This, uh... This block. Get out of there, block. You're drunk. Uh, now, isn't that the coolest damn thing you've ever seen? I think that's pretty cool. So, we're going to leave it like this until next episode, and we're going to put some finishing touches on it later on.
And like I said, to end the episode, we're going to go ahead and place another emerald block. Mm -hmm. Look at this floor. This is the most awesome floor you've ever seen. So where should we put it? Where should we put it? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. In the end, they'll all get filled in, and it'll be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put it way back here where no one can see it. Because I feel bad for the emerald that has to be over here. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.